So if you've been astute and paying attention, you'll notice the floating point reading um, and also any floating point documentation talks about a biased exponent. And so far I've only been teaching you the exponent as a regular exponent, but now I need to teach you what that biased exponent part means. So here I have a, um, a binary floating point value and I have an exponent. And let's just say in my uh, poor representation here. I can only have three bits in the exponents. Well, so what val how, how high can I count with three bits? Well, it can go, um, let's see, 0, 1, then, then, sorry, 2, then 3, then 4, and so on and so forth. If you remember, the highest we can go is 7. So the exponent would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in base 10. Well, if you notice, all of these values are zero or positive, meaning that is only going to push the floating point to the right, meaning our mantissa will grow larger and only larger because this exponent can only be positive. It can only push it to the right. And so what we do is, similar to the two's complement floating point tricks, are not floating point tricks, two's complement, negative sign bit, and all that stuff trick, um, is, is we bias this exponent. Instead of saying it runs from 0 to 7, we shift it negative so that we have exponents that can be negative and exponents that can be positive. So instead I'm going to put, um, let's see, if I, if I, a good guess is we want roughly this, this, this uh, range of numbers to sit on the 0. We want to center the 0 to this zero value, I want to move it somewhere in the middle, either here or over here. So um, what we can do is just ignore this upper bit. The way to get half of anything is, is to take the lower bit. So the lower bits here add up to 3. So I'm going to bias my exponent by subtracting 3 from every value. So 0 goes negative 3, and 1 goes negative 2, and 2 goes negative 1. And just because I want these things to line up, excuse me while I space these things in so they make more sense to you. And then I have 3 here, I'm going to put a 0, uh, 3 minus 3 is 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you look at this range of exponents here, I now have negative possibilities in my exponent. So knowing that if I give you, if I give you a number, let's, let's uh, you know what, that's a lot of binary digits, let's just get rid of these. Okay, if I give you a number, um, let's say I give you this mantissa, and I give you this, uh, let's, let's do, a little, do a little better than that, let's go 0, 1, 0, let's say that's the exponent. Well, the decimal value of that is 2, so the biased, ex the biased value will be 2 minus 3 is negative 1, which means I actually need to move the decimal place over, or the floating point, over not right one but left one. So I'll move it over one to the left and get rid of the exponent because we just evaluated that. And that this is the actual uh, binary floating point value having evaluated the exponent. And of course we could write that out longhand with the uh, mathematical equation in the first video and get the decimal uh, base 10 value. But for the most part that, that this video is not about that. So let, let's take this value again, and let's say uh, let's say I put uh, let's put a one here. So now I have I I have four plus two, which is six, and six bias three, six minus three is three. So that means I still need to move the decimal place over to the right, but on three instead of six. So one, two, three. So so having evaluated the exponent on that example, this floating point moves all the way over here and we have now evaluated the exponent. So let's 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 take this to the real extreme. Let's let's take our original in fact let, let's get rid of the rest of these. Let's take our original and uh, let's turn on all the bits. And all the bits add up to seven if they're all turned on. Seven minus three is is uh, four. So that would mean we'd move it to the right four again and and uh, Let's just do it. So one, two, three. Oh, I'm missing a zero, so let's throw in a zero and put a our point there. We've evaluated it, and now this is the actual binary 
uh, representation of this mantissa exponent pair. Let's go extreme to the other direction. Instead of all ones, let's go all zeros. Well, how does that change things? Well, this is a zero, decimal or binary, it's still zero. Minus three means I need to move the uh, floating point left three. So let's do that. Put this on the next line. So here's one, two, three. Evaluate that, so I'm going to get rid of it. And this is the actual value, binary, floating point value, of what this represents. So, so let's just make it simple. Basically, a biased exponent is we cut the range that we can have in our exponent bits in half, and we shift that whole number line negative so that we can have negative exponents. And, and notice, I can't go up to 7 anymore. I can't go as high in my exponents. But I trade that in order to have negative exponents, which is important.